So that's a quick move. Well, obviously, it's balance, isn't it? Do you, would you reckon, Tim, because it's only, what, a minute into the second term? And Smith's already yeah, had a kick. I think uh, Terry Walsh is also trying to get one of his players free, Pat's Cameron. Well, that's Minter Connell's trademark, isn't it? Chess mark, and important now that he kicks the goal. He missed a couple of shots early against Adelaide last week. Prior to that, he'd been kicking three goals each match. And if he is to hold his place in this team and really make a contribution, he's going to have to make the most use of his opportunities. He doesn't get a whole lot of kicks. He's 48 metres out. He's kicked it well off the boot. He's kicked the goal. Well done. That's his value. Chess mark and kicked it straight. Five. Certainly was with uh, 15 minutes left in the second term. West Coast lead by three points. It's been a seesawing tussle so far. Scotty Wine gets first hand of the ball. Gee, that was a crude tackle. Umpire sees that as all clear. Trying to get it clear is Chris Grant. Now kicking it forward is Johnson. Off uh, off the ground or out of the air, basically. Minted Connell for his second. Snapshot over his left shoulder. Looks pretty good. He's a happy man. Bullies have got another one. Towards the centre. Liberatore just driving Cousins absolutely berserk, I would suggest. J uh, Johnson for the Bulldogs. Hand pass over the top to Alice. Alice to Steady. Kicks in short. It's OK. Rowan Smith has taken the mark. He's just forward of the left-hand point of the square, so 65 to 70 metres from the Bulldogs' goal. That kick is all right. It's found Minton Connell. Just got a metre or so away from Fraser Gehrig, and he's able to take the mark about uh, 45 metres from goal. It was a smart lead there because he went up the ground and stopped his lead there. Gehrig thought that that was the end of his lead, and then he took off again. So Minton Connell, you can see two goals. Opportunity for his third. Kicked a good goal in the second term from about the same distance. And this is a good kick too. It just splits those two goalposts. And Brad Wirra is manning up on Philip Matera presently. And the West Coast Eagles persisting with the huddle here. It's just so easy to get out of defence when the side gives the huddle. Kick by Cameron Ryan Smith getting a lot of the ball in this quarter. Such an important play. Beautiful kick. Spots his man and gets Montgomery. Montgomery away. Mitten Connell, can he reach it? Well, he took a charge and he should kick a goal. He's kicked three. He has kicked four. They're four in front. Holds it up to Grant, who's been a huge winner since quarter time. His handball a moment ago to Montgomery was pure class. Grant at centre wing. Can't waste it. Kicks out wide. Hudson. He's been on the interchange for most of the match. It's a long way from home. Chips away, Minton Connell. He's got him. Well, it had to be absolutely spot on. It was. Cousin to cousin. And Simon Minton Connell, who has kicked four goals tonight, two in the second and two in the third, has an opportunity to stretch this again. And he really has kicked well. I'd say this is the most important kick that he has had in the six games that he's played for the Western Bulldogs. He's 50 metres out. He's kicked it strong. It's close. He likes it. He's got it. Terrific goal. Five goals straight for Minton Connell tonight. And 16-11 to 13-13. Starting to get difficult now for West Coast. Well, it's too early to say whether or not this is a match-winning performance by Simon Minton Connell, but... The Western Bulldogs going into this match really needed somebody to stand up in their forward line and kick a bag of goals. And it's been Simon Mitten Connell tonight. Only six kicks, but he's been super effective. Five goals. Ball in, uh, in the third quarter and expected him to come on with the game. Save at the moment. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot. Well done. What an effort. Terrific stuff. Terrific stuff by the Bulldogs. Fantastic winners here tonight. It was stirring, wasn't it, Tim?